I've noticed that hair grease has become somewhat of a trend on YouTube recently, but not necessarily for me. I've never stopped using hair grease and I decided to introduce it on my channel a few years ago. Hair grease is not necessarily a versatile product so when you've been using it for so long you have to find ways of getting creative, hence why I did hair grease wash and goes, pre poo with hair grease and a technique that I'm going to be showing you today which is a silk press with hair grease. So let's just jump straight into it. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Lauren or Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today as I've mentioned I'm going to be showing you my silk press with hair grease. But I did use two products however not in this video. For my previous video I've done a blowout with hair grease and I used a leave-in and then I applied the hair grease that I'm using today. However as my hair already has hair grease in it I'm just going to be showing you how I straighten my hair or silk press my hair with the hair grease today. So for me to do that guys I'm going to have to take you back two days prior. As you can see, this is from my blowout, and I've sectioned my hair. You're going to want to section your hair as you would do when you're blow drying or straightening your hair. I'm going to take my Marcel Curling Wax, which is the Red Dax. And this is all the amount that you need, guys. This is all the amount that I'm going to apply for this section. I'm going to smooth it all over my strands. As I've mentioned, hair grease is a heat protectant. You don't need a lot of it. You don't want your hair to be weighed down. You do want your hair to have movement and not stiff and greasy on your clothes. Right, so as you can see, guys, I've taken the grease and I've gone in the back, the nape, with the hair straighteners. However, this is why I'm going to be using the hot comb. What I love about straightening my hair with hair grease, I literally just need to make one pass. So I go over my roots a couple of times before I then go down once through the rest of my hair and no it's not sticky it's not hot it's not well it's hot <laughs> but it's not greasy however guys I will say technically hair grease is an oil so it does heat up it gets very very hot so please be cautious be mindful of that okay so look how straight dead straight that is already okay so I'm just going over the sections as you do and I'm taking small sections just to make sure the hair grease gets into every strand I don't want to do it in big chunks because you won't get the results you're looking for guys As you can see my roots have not been laid down and there's a reason for that as I said hair grease gets very hot it's on my roots I don't want to burn my scalp so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly comb through it afterwards at my roots with the hot comb I'm just going over this strand and I'm just going over it once so can you see that frizz just before the hair straighteners and look how sleek and smooth that is guys look at that very flowy lovely Okay, so as you can see here, I'm just taking the front section and I'm not going right to my roots for the obvious reasons. I don't want to burn myself with the hair straighteners or burn my ears. So I'm going to go over that with the hot comb once I've finished. Look at that, guys. I've straightened one side with hair grease. So I came off camera and I came back to you once my hair was fully straightened. However, I'm just going over my edges and my nape and my roots with the hot comb, as you can see here. So the side that I'm doing now is this side. And as you can see, my ends aren't bumped in that moment I don't recall I recorded bumping my ends I prefer to bump my ends just a little bit where I kind of twirl it so it comes out more of a curl like a loose wave let's say so as I said the key points to straightening your hair with hair grease the first point is it's a heat protectant so my curls always revert when I wash my hair after straightening it number two because of the heaviness of the hair grease you only need a minimal amount therefore it will last longer when you straighten your hair with the hair grease it will last a duration so I'm going to be wearing this for about two weeks reason being because I didn't sit there straightening my hair just to wear it four days or what have you so my hair will not need to be straightened again in that process
My hair is nice and sleek and it's got a lot of body. If you're not happy doing this yourself, please start someone else. And also guys, if you don't have the hot comb for your edges, don't worry about it. The rest of your hair will stay flat. I can feel some of my roots right now. Just curling up a little and that's mostly because, you know, I was sweating so much because it's so hot outside. But my hair still looks nice and flat. My hair is not greasy guys, not greasy at all. So that was the question I get asked a lot, is my hair greasy, does it feel flat? It doesn't feel flat, my hair feels like when my hair was relaxed and I used to straighten it. So no to your question guys, my hair is not greasy, however my hair is definitely straight. And that is pretty much it guys. If you want to see how I blow dried my hair with hair grease, then just click on this video now. If not, I have some other hair grease videos for you, so you can have a look now. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!